This video explains how to handle the error message error in xy cohorts length of x and y differ. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R programming code. In this video, I will show you a very simplified example on how to reproduce and fix this error message in the R programming language. So in line three of the code, you can see that I'm using the plot function. And within the plot function, you would have to specify two variables. So my first variable contains the values one to five, and the second variable contains the values one to six. However, if I would run this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that the error message error in x, y cohorts, x and y length differ is returned. And the reason for that is that the plot function needs two variables that have the same length. However, our first variable contains five values and the second variable contains six values. And for that reason, no plot is drawn and the error message x and y length differ is returned. So if we want to draw a plot based on our data, we could simply use the code that you can see in line five. So in this case, I'm using two variables with the same length. So after running line five of the code, no error message is returned anymore. And as you can see, a proper plot is shown at the bottom right, which is showing our five different data points. So obviously the example in this tutorial was very basic. However, whenever you are facing this error message, error in x, y cohorts, x and y length differ, you should check if you have inserted two variables with a different length into the plot function. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.